as a business uh, because they could have like a Steam Camp as well. And so we just kind of exchanged the Steam Camp yeah. uh, information. And I was agreeing with you on that, definitely. And we could also be the Steam Camp for that school Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So, so I guess in the notes, we should add that... Um, yeah, because naturally there they would they would get like if they pro and that's exactly what was happening before the COVID hit. We had several schools lined up, and um, in a collaborative relationship like that, so that could definitely work. Um, let me add that to the the notes. Dev team log. April twenty twenty. Yeah, under collaborative marketing. So the page I'm editing right now is, um, so you're at the same page there. It's the collaborative marketing page. Um, yeah, actually, I really like that idea, Eric. Um, if we did a drop kit for a STEAM program, that would make it very easy for a school to adopt. No planning needed, really. Right. If we make it as easy as possible, so all they have to do is assign teachers, and the teachers are either already are already uh, knowledgeable in the subject, or can it can be easily picked up. Um, that would be fantastic. And all, oh. and in fact, we could even do like a little. Um, all they have to do is brand it for their school. Just like, you know, how uh, the site builders for GoDaddy or Squarespace, they all have those templates that you can use and then you just input your text and images and stuff on the website to make it your own. If we did something like that as the Steam program, that, that solves a lot of, uh, I imagine, income? Is that what we're... we're what? Um, one, th one thought that comes to mind there also may be uh, an opportunity to generate new schools through these processes because one of the things I've found as a teacher is that teachers are not actually trained to do education. They just sort of deliver a curriculum. It's a form of training. But what you need to do OSE style community development is a high set of capabilities that are developed in a different way than is developed in schools. So just the very fact that we are resonating with this idea to make it easy as possible. Well, life is not easy, and OSE is not easy, and meaningful things are not easy either. either. So Good that's point. just a thought in there. So I'm really interested in starting new schools that are built around education and not just training. Good point, William. The, yeah. um, so that's, that's part of my work at my current school, and uh, I... I'm experimenting with a course that has no government curriculum, trying yeah. to do the whole math, math and science kind of in an accelerated way, all of math in, say, two months, um, all of the high school math in about two months. Whether or not that's possible, it's definitely possible to accelerate it. That's 100% based on my research and get the students to understand it. So we could have an OSE branded sort of alternative set of courses that could be summer to begin with, but actually that could start replacing the entire curriculum. Yeah. Now as far as the drop drop kit, I think the, the limit there is, I mean, the curriculum that we're offering is pretty advanced, so there would be some a definite onboarding for the teachers. It's not going to be easy because our, our stuff is pretty pretty advanced. It's very, very condensed. So we have to be saying that well, for now, like let's let's keep the focus. Like right now, we're saying, okay, COVID times, we're still not having the the on-site meetings, but for the remote kit, we can offer. Yeah, I mean, definitely what Eric is saying is kind of like the more advanced thing. That here's a program. I think that's the next product which we don't have yet. That that would require a little bit to <coughs> develop a program where we're onboarding other teachers rapidly. I mean, that's what we're working on. That's the curriculum. That's still the refinements and all that. Um, but for right now, we can say, yes, we will have this camp. You can offer it. We can collaborate with you on offering it, on collaborative marketing. We can, I guess for a school, we can say, I, I think for schools, we probably might need a separate email, which, which we frame more around 
here's a program that we do have, we can on one side, we can market your programs if you market ours, but also here's like even if you don't have any Steam Camp programs or you have some but you'd like to increase that, here's a, an opportunity with us because I know that right now a lot of, a lot of schools are looking for remote options of doing things. Um, but I think with the, the, collaborative, the very simple collaborative marketing, I think the way it works right now is like there's a product and there's another product and we're just exchanging it. So it's a very simple kind of a relationship. We're, we're just doing that very basic exchange and at the same time looking for people who, who jump out as the more collaborative people who then get involved in ongoing development and the greater vision of OSE. So I think that um, will be a good deal. Um, so where to go from here? Uh, one, we want to do the collaborative marketing invitation email. Just basically describe this thing and start going, maybe testing this. Um, first, looking at the, some of the possibilities that we have in the list and or maybe even drop a spreadsheet. We can do work in a wiki or drop a separate sp spreadsheet, but then just start um, after the, we go through the email start contacting people so let's let's work on an email first um, but I wanted to hear a little more uh, Leo David uh, what are, what is your vision for can you just tell us just to share with the rest of the team here briefly what's um, what's your interest in the whole program of OSC and where you're going with it um, so the mother of my daughter and I um, we want to create what we're calling Nomad University, uh -huh. and that's G G N O, uh, which has its root in uh, Greek. You know, gnosis, which is inner knowledge, as opposed to external knowledge. So there's you know two ways to get knowledge, and so we want to create a traveling tribe of intentional community creators. Basically, everything that you're doing there at Factory Farm, but we want to have a group of travelers that do that um, around the country and around the world. Uh, I keep saying like, if you can imagine mm. Burning Man, but instead of throwing a party, we throw workshops and things so people can yeah. learn how to be self-reliant, right? Yeah. Um, so I want to learn from OSC as much as I can um, and collaborate with OSC in order to accomplish that for myself. Um, but also help OSC with everything that I, you know, know uh, to bring it to wherever you want to, because uh, I know there, uh, there's plenty of opportunity for synergy. Um, yeah. And I was look, I was looking at um, the precious plastic uh, link that you sent, um, and in how the circular economy and or something like that was working. Yeah. And it reminded me of this idea that I had that I call Terraforms, uh, T-E-R-R-A-F-O-R-M-Z. Um, and that idea is mm -hmm. basically biologically based robots that go, that are piloted through an app or through a computer like you're playing a video game. And it oh, basically, yeah. it gainfully employs young people who are at home playing video games and in my opinion you know not really doing anything but if you can have oh yeah people who could play video games like drones like drone pilots and people that play video games yeah. to pilot these robots and collect the trash and you pay them through the economy and have like this whole in like kind of like a world of warcraft yeah. uh economy scale um, and these people are going out there and collecting the plastic and bringing them to collection points. And they can, through those, that income that they're getting, they can build more robots for themselves or purchase from local 3D printer hubs that are in their area. And we reuse the plastic to make other things. And yeah, anyway, that's just an idea that I had. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. Like definitely there's potential where the people who are playing video games, they're actually doing constructive work, like designing things or, or actually controlling things in the real world that um, they're doing constructive work. Yeah, that's definitely, it's a little more advanced than where we're at right now, but yeah, definite positive direction to go. Um, now, okay, so 
let's see, Leo David, can you join us next week for the next next week, next Friday? Can we work on yes, this collaborate I'm... on this email and, and um, see if we can start sending it out? Yes, one hundred percent. Okay. Uh, what else do you need need from us to, to get going on that? Um do you want to actually and, start the draft or do you want me to to start it or i'm going to start the draft based on a link that eric posted i'm going to take the verbiage from that add in my own verbiage i think the only thing i would need are just um assets like logos official logos and things like that okay mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, let's let's do that. So let's uh, let's start that, and uh, we can go over that, and then see if we can actually start testing it out and see who's in, start getting a list of interested people. Yes, um, I can definitely have something ready to you drafted by I'm gonna say Tuesday or Wednesday. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's do that, and then uh, so yeah, we can go over that, and um, next meeting. So we have this regular meeting at at two p.m. every Friday, so you can um, join us there, and that's open to the public. Okay. okay. So thanks everybody then. Um, get I just want to give a shout out to Eric. I love that uh, his goal for OSC. That's that's a good one. Fully automated. Luxury queer space anarcho communism. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Yay for inclusivity. Applications are endless. So uh, let's let's develop the the basic set that enables everything to happen. Okay. So thanks, guys. So we'll we'll talk to you soon. And this is this is recorded, so you can review this. Uh, I'll post the the link up on a development team log. Okay, take care, guys, and we'll see you next week. Awesome. Bye, Marjan. Bye, Bye, -bye. William. Bye, Eric.